Near Ensenada, Mexican state of Baja California, there is a very peculiar construction that has scared thousands of people. It is the Devil's Castle, a building that seems to be taken from hell itself. Located at kilometer 60 of the Ensenada Tijuana Free Highway, the Devil's Castle has caused fascination and many urban rumors. The rumors are from the appearance of beings from the grave, to the fact, that satanic rites are performed in this place. This property is owned by 60 years old Tony Wells, a naturalized Mexican-American, who found a place in Baja, California. He is a big fan of Gothic art. Tony is a real estate developer and painting contractor from California, said he became obsessed with the project. He wanted to build it in the United States, but there was no way it would happen, he said. He wanted to build a house of his dreams to share it with his wife Brittany Stevenson, who is also a lover of the Gothic culture, and was the muse of this building. Tony decided to build it in Mexico, because there were no building restrictions, and he could essentially do whatever he wanted. He said, Mexico is becoming famous because of my house, it's a beautiful thing for both of us. Tony Wells built this extravagant building to contrast with beautiful Mexican mansions, to give a darker touch to the architecture of the region. The disturbing building is characterized by the strange figures on its exterior, and the effect it causes on visitors. Approximately $3 million have been invested in the Devil's Castle in the last 10 years, while it has been under construction. There are statues of Gothic women, coffins, creepy mannequins, and 800 swords and knives, used in some type of combat, or death. The castle has more than 1,000 statues, all of which impress with their level of detail and colors. There are 40 chandeliers in the master bedroom. The main characteristic statue is the red figure, the man with the red face and horns. The horned figure that sits atop the castle, Tony said is a mix of himself and Pan, from the Greek mythology. He said he doesn't believe in the devil, and wants to convert the castle into a museum. The interior is decorated with coffins, chandeliers and creepy mannequins that were custom made for the bizarre castle. In one of its rooms, there is a bed, that belonged to Elvis Presley himself, which Tony Wells acquired at an auction. For years it has been the subject of all kinds of myths and legends, but no entity related to Satanism lives here. As the house attracted thousands of visitors, a couple of local priests stopped by, telling Tony that he should be ashamed, because he was building a monstrosity. Visitors gather outside Castillo del Diablo every day, and Satan worshippers even leave presents for the owner. Tony suspects the castle is haunted, claiming he and guests have heard strange noises, including children laughing. He claims he's woken up to the chandeliers swinging back and forth, and has decided to never stay overnight on his own. Halloween is a peak period for visitors, with thousands expected to pass by every week. Tony said it is such a hassle, that he stays away from the property on Halloween. 
Currently, the Devil's Castle can be used as a location for photos and videos, which can be arranged with its owner. The castle can be an amazing place for lovers of the dark. What do you think of the Devil's Castle? Leave your opinion in the comments and subscribe to the channel.